So um, the Thackeray Medical Museum or it used to be known as Leeds Union Workhouse so it opened I think in the 1850s, 1858 and it was used as the sort of the main workhouse at the time and it housed approximately 800 people so you can kind of imagine sort of how big it would have been um, back then. So there would have been men, women, children sent here, um, long horrible things that they, that they had to do while they was here. When the need for workhouses sort of started to disappear, they weren't really needed anymore, sort of towards the end of the like 19th century, start of the 20th century, um, it became more of a hospital for the yes. poor um, rather than the workhouse. And then over time, it became more and more adapted to being a hospital rather than the workhouse. And it became part of um, St. James's Hospital. Um, I believe, don't quote me on it, but I believe that this was like, there was the asylum part and the mental health part up in this bit. Um, so it's always sort of had a medical sort of link to it, a medical sort of background. As you come into it now and you look around, it doesn't kind of reflect what it used to look like, what it would have been. And I know the first few times I came, I wasn't never disappointed but there was always that sort of feeling that you wanted it to be a bit more spooky you wanted it to still look like the workhouse as it was and it doesn't but the minute you start to look past that bit it just opens up a whole other world and some of the activity we've had here has been like really really good so just in the bit where we're stood now um, I've done table tipping in the past and it's just been like off the scale and um, guests have had sort of names come to them we've had soldiers come through to us um, as well so this was during the war it was used as a war hospital war infirmary as well so we've had soldiers we've had children all sorts of different sort of walks of life I think we're stood where sort of the skeleton of the Yorkshire witch um, was stored for a while, um, Mary Bateman. I don't know too much about her, but I know she was hung locally and she's probably got some sort of connection with the place as well. And Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. It's warm. It is warm. <laughs> just, it, it just all of a sudden hit me. Yeah. Maybe it was the speed that we come down the stairs at. Okay. Okay, so where we are at the moment, we are heading into Disease Street, aren't we? So we have actually come down into the streets section of the museum. It's a pretty cool place. There's a lot down to it. Now, none of this is like legitimate 18th century streets. It is actually- Ceiling. It's all kitted all out. Well, guess what, there are one. It's all kitted out um, to obviously look how it was in the olden days. We're gonna be here with haunted happenings and we're already straight into the investigation yep. and we are searching for the spirit of the Yorkshire witch. Mary. Mary Bateman, I believe. That is um, believed to be haunting this section. She murdered someone and she got executed and then they brought her skeleton here, resided here, and it's believed that it's her spirit that haunts these locations. Look um, very, uh, very European today. European? Yeah. Fair enough, I look like a pig. 
straight to you. I mean, we're next to the butcher shop as well. I'm sure there was a pig in the bottom corner somewhere. I'll show you that. But this is a, it is nice to see. Everything's, well, so nice to see all cut up bodies and that. <laughs> um, but <laughs> this is what you call it. It's all made from plastic. It gives me the vibes from um, Warwick Castle. Because yeah, a lot yeah. of that's like themed all out, isn't it? You can smell the wax in the air, can't you? Yeah. Lovely pigeons, it's a great looking place, it's a huge building, it is now a legit medical centre, it's actually an operating hospital isn't it pretty much, like yeah, a university. it's literally right next to um, a proper hospital and then inside here is they still do talks and teaching. And Right now, I mean there was a base room where the haunted happenings usually have their base room, but they're actually dissecting right a human right yeah, there, aren't they? In the heart. Um, for medical science and for university, so it's all kicking off. To be honest, I'd love to go and film that. Would you? Yeah, that'd be different. It'd be brutal, would it? It's a nice top you got on today. Yeah. Limited edition, guys. Still got five of them left. <laughs> Just get in contact with us if you want to buy one. What was the bloke talking to the person who works here about some of the activity that he's had? So he says he's seen shadow figures. And he's basically seen a lot of... In this like, section? Well, in this section he's had shadow figures, heard a lot of noises. You, you, the average, what you'd get basically from uh, ghost hunting. No. But he's had, he's had a lot of investigations here. So he said he's had over a hundred investigations. And he's had about six or seven uh, things happen. So we'll have to ask him more about it later. But it was as far as I know, he said he saw shadow figures. He's had knocks, he's had pretty much everything. So in this section it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is what everyone said is the most haunted location is this old street um, that they've created out of obviously paper mache and wax. So yeah. and it might just be a fact that the spirits in this building relate to this section more than anywhere else because as much as the this looks old, the rest of the building is very modern yeah but because yeah. it's obviously this used to be an old workhouse for many i think it's one of the biggest in england at the time i believe there could have been about 400 people here during its time a lot of, and then obviously it all fell apart and diseases and stuff kicked in and um that was the problem or with them times yeah disease famine could you come forward Come and give us a sign. Mary? Is that you, Mary? 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 It is really dark in here. This will be a really good place. Got to be careful. Mary! Let's see if we can get Mary or, or a spirit that's related to Mary or a spirit that knows Mary or just a spirit in general that can help us. That can realistically talk to us and show us where everything is. Because there must have been a few bodies, at least, that were, were like amputated on and schooled on. Didn't there used to be stories of people digging up graves to bring bodies from there so they could amputate and like basically study on? You know they used to sell the skeletons back in the day, was any of that going on here? You could talk to me or stay. We're both trustworthy. Just need a little bit of direction, a little bit of help to speak with one of you. Now we've got a little bit of noise above us, but we are in this room. And I'm pretty sure that if you made a noise in this room, 
we'd be able to tell that it came from this room. So could you make a knocking noise for us in this room, please? Come close to us, come around us. We are only here to document you, nothing else. To film, to show everyone. What was that? One of those bodies, <laughs> being dragged. A lot of misery happened here over the years, hundreds of years. Former workhouse. Many people suffered. Many families suffered. Many people have died. A lot of death. A lot of suffering. Is there anyone that still resides here? Come and tell us or come and show us how much pain you're in or how angry you are or happy. Give us any sign. All of you collect all the energy together and prove to us that there is something after death. So we'll just walk you outside. Give you a in, bit of a tour. Into the the actual museum itself now. The modern part of the museum. In this one we have a slab, a wooden slab, back in the day. I believe that this is set out in a setting that they used to amputate people on this. And obviously people that were learning would be standing around the edges watching all this transpire. This isn't authentic, is it? This isn't, no. This was made, the slab was. But as you can see on the walls, there's different ways, and if you don't want to see it, just look away. Different ways they used to amputate. Um, all over this section. It's, it's quite menacing, if I'm honest. There was one um, that I've seen, which was a lower leg amputation where they had to cut through each of the skins and then go through with the knives to the other side around the bone and then what they'd do is they'd obviously saw the bone after they'd gone round all the tissue and in between all the tissue. It's horrible isn't it? It's, it's disgusting but that was the way uh, medicine was and now every single one of you sitting at home should be grateful for the medicine that we do have now because how horrible would it be to have your leg amputated with no anaesthetic back in the day back in the day and it happened a lot more than you think back in the day now this isn't the skeleton of mary um, i believe that has left the building i don't know where it is anymore um is that a, a proper skeleton um, it's got to be, yeah. Uh, it's got to be a medical sons and they spent a lot of money, they're not just going to put a plastic one in on that. It's got metal pins running through it, isn't that? Yeah? Yeah, it's a real one, though. Oh, that's crazy. So that's a bleached... It looks actually fake. That's a bleached uh, skeleton, isn't it? I've seen mannequins that look more real than that. Yeah. That's technically, that is a bleached skeleton by the looks of it. No, but I don't know, if someone will be able to tell us at home whether it's real or not, but I'm presuming that with all the metal pins, that's how a real one's supposed to come. Okay, this is a model skeleton. It's, it's, it, there's a lot of um, dread here, like when you're just walking around, because you know that this wasn't as it looks. That's a nice scary playhouse. Yeah. 
could be a, tr a trigger object if anyone wants to throw anything at us. Yep. This is the germ central. But again, it's, I mean, it all, I mean, obviously it's a museum right now, but back in the day, this used to be a workhouse home to many hundreds of people. Um, as Emily said, don't think of how it looks now, but think of the things that have happened with inside. It's and, it's, and, and it's quite deceiving, to be fair. Is there anything here? Is there any spirits? We're not, we're not gonna just keep calling out for Mary. Is there anything that wants to interact, that wanna show themselves within this old workhouse, this hospital? You could have died whatever year. Could you please do something? Sad, eh? Old sensor, clicky. We mean you no disrespect. It's a very nice place, by the way, guys, if you want to learn about germs. I'm, I'm, I'm just reading what's <laughs> Yeah, I was just reading as well, so, was, so it is good if you want to teach your kids about diseases and obviously teach your children about anatomy. You can choose the sections that you go in with your children. This is a place that the public can come to. Um, and maybe, just maybe, you'll get a spirit interaction when you're here. Something that we're trying to get now. It's so far nothing. Go back out into the corridor. Now that's basically it for this section. Lady. Oh, lady. There's, there is... Um, the grey lady does apparently haunt this building. We're on the first floor. Yes, we are, Stevie. That corridor just looks sinister. It does look good. But this, what the good thing about this corridor is, is this, this is where the skeleton of Mary. Of Mary was kept right here, right down this corridor here. So it was, he said it was kept right here. Yeah, like, yep, next to the assisted birth. Just here. So this is where that skeleton was. So maybe if we. The Yorkshire Witch? The Yorkshire Witch, maybe if we call out here, then we might get something. Look at that MRO, he scans stay. Bloody hell. Taking a seat is called for now. We've walked around quite a bit. Let's see if we can get any spirit interaction while I'm sitting down. Steve, you can join me if you want. There's loads of seats in this room. I'll nail down. Kneeling. That's a knees unfavorable decision. Spirits of this Thackeray Medical Museum could you come forward now, please? Would you like to tell us if this place disgusts you after it being a workhouse? Or does it interest you? Are you happy with how this place has turned out? If you are, just laugh or say yes. If you aren't, and make some loud knocks and bangs. There's obviously outside. Oh no. You have nothing to be scared of, spirits. Nothing at all. We are literally here to say hello and find out any information that we can from you. There's no need to be scared, worried that if you get caught or you talk to us that we're going to tell on you. We genuinely just want to talk and we genuinely just want to find out what's going on. So come and talk to us. Oh, 
Oh, stay. It's nice. Yeah. There go. Case. Whoa, we we could play with some Lego. Put like a little trigger object or something. Build a bridge. Oh, we could ask it to build it. Yeah. If there's any children's spirits here. Say that. He don't need us to tell us. Tell him. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, you got to build something. Yeah. that? It was like a... Yeah, from within this section. Hello? Still a bit light outside, but... It was like a... Yeah, it was like a... Oh. It's like a... This place is known for many sounds. Many unexplainable things. We've just been talking to a member of staff and she's witnessed and experienced a lot in the 20 years that she has worked here. She's seen it all, heard it all. Did we just hear something then? Like a bit of tapping on the window then. Could have been wind. Are you trying to get her attention? If so, could you do that again? That noise. It's a bus, that was. That's a bus. If you can see us, could you knock twice? Knock to tell us where you are. And we will follow the sound. Oh? Is that in there? Yeah. Hello? It's like a double knock. Yeah? Like a. In the sexual okay. health clinic. Oh, is that where we are? <laughs> Must have missed this one. Was that you knocking? Or is this something more explainable? The window's open. Yeah. Man, there was someone has got that on unhappy with someone putting the middle finger up on that doll. They've actually removed it. Oh shit. That was a bit louder, wasn't it? It's was a lot louder. Are you in the sexual health clinic? Are you getting checked out? Are you going lights? Uh, no, I'll go back in the dock. Was that you? It was a, a very loud bang. Is it that? Yeah, probably. You think you could have been the window? Yeah, probably. More than likely. That's a shame. What we'll do, we'll stand here. Could you do it again? Okay, yeah, so we can debunk that, guys. We can debunk that noise. Um, obviously the wind and everything, it's just like kind of sucking the sheet and the plastic and it's creating that sound so nothing paranormal unfortunately it'd be nice if I'm just walking through here and then you hear a shadow figure or see a shadow figure it'd be awesome is there any shadow figures that like to come and greet us Is there any spirits that are willing to talk to us?
any spirits at all. If we can't hear you, could you try your hardest to scream into the camera, please? You don't have to be scared of us. We aren't here to hurt you in any way. It would be nice if there was a shadow figure that could jump out on us. Come on. If Mary's here and you've plucked up the courage to talk, come and talk to us. We are walking where you used to be kept. So we are currently we have moved into the medicine section. It's got all these antique medicine jars. And a few Ouija boards, don't forget that, Joyce. Well, the Ouija boards have been placed here for the haunted happenings night, whereas these will be things that you see when you come to the Fakray <laughs> Medi Medical Museum. What were you calling it? Fakray. Fakray. It'd be nice if there was a spirit here with us and you could probably knock something off within the cabinet. That would be amazing. Because we have no way of touching any of these jars because they're in a glass cabinet. So if you are here and you are angry that we're trying to talk to you, then knock one of these jars off within the cabinet. That'd be good. Like all of them, just knock in. It would be amazing. Like a domino effect. Yeah, like the top one goes, and then it smashes that pain, and then that pain takes that one, that one, yeah. and that one, and then people come running in. What have you done? Just we'll play go, it back on the video. And we go, mate, look at the CCTV. Yeah. And do you know, like how we say that we wouldn't mind losing the camera or K2 meter or Melgram, they would have just lost done thousands and thousands of pounds of history. Worth it worth it though because we've caught a spirit so if a spirit could do that for us knocking one of these vases off one of these jars that would be great if you're a member of the workhouse one of the people that used to live here within the workhouse and you're angry that your house has been taken over by all this museum artifacts, and then smash one of them. Or give us a loud bang, a loud growl. Whoa. Or give us a loud bang, a loud growl. Whoa. Or give us a loud bang, a loud growl. Whoa. That sounded quite good. It did, it went... Ooh. Was that you? The spirit of Mary that's claimed to haunt this area. Could you come forward and do something? Was that you walking a few moments ago? Yeah, the lights just turned off behind her. They said that was on a time like 15 seconds. Yeah. Come on, Mary. Come and join us. Come on, Mary. That's our time at Leeds Museum. It's been pretty fun. It's been uh, amazing to walk around, to spend time with haunted happenings, obviously. Links down below, but it's been cool to visit the museum. I've been fascinated more in just the history and going around the rooms. 
Well, that's what we've been doing, really, looking at all the information as we've been recording. So, so if you're in the area, come and check this place out. Um, and who knows, you know, you might capture something paranormal. As for us, um, I don't think we did, but it don't matter. It's been a blast always to hang out with Haunted Happenings, that all the staff have been cool. It's been cool to hang out with the guests. And yeah, I think that's it for another investigation. So do whatever, share and all that other good stuff. And you want to say anything, Jace, just to finish it all off? Yeah, it's too hot to really say anything. Yeah. It's and to investigate. <laughs> it's too hot to investigate, too hot to say anything. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you later. Peace.